What up kids, Peter Von Panda here. I wanna bust out another watch I just bought. Again, it's a cheap watch and as you can see, it's Casio. Boom, Casio. This is a Casio Men's FT500 WVB-5BV. Uh, it's a quartz movement. It's uh, again, one of these watches that is cheap. You can find these pretty reliably around the uh, uh, $20, $25, $30 mark. Uh, what I why I got this is is just because it looks kind of rugged outdoor. Uh, it's definitely got the style, you know. If um, this is definitely kind of kind of watch I would expect to see when you walk into an Eddie Bauer store or an REI. This is something you could uh, throw on. Um, it's unique in a, a couple different ways. First of all, this is going to be pretty much your standard plastic quartz uh, wristwatch that you're familiar with, but it's pretty small and a couple of things. Uh, make it unique. It's got a sealed uh, stainless steel back here, screw on back, and a uh, brown plastic, uh, so it kind of looks like a, a field operation piece. Um, plastic mineral crystal, and it is pretty small, so we'll give it a quick measure here. Uh, side to side on the, the case is only about 41 millimeters, so very small, but like I said in my other video about uh, cheap watches, is that um, for outdoor watches, when you're hiking, you don't want to carry a big bulky watch. I know when you're going out to Sushi Samba and you're uh, flossing, you want that big uh, timepiece on your wrist, but when you're out hiking and working, you don't really uh, want to carry any more weight than you absolutely must. Cool thing on this is that it's a Velcro strap, it's got plenty of extra material here and you can strap it down this is what it looks like on my maybe slightly larger than average wrist um, so it looks good and it's functional and it doesn't uh, stand you know uh, it doesn't intrude on wearing your backpack or throwing one on and reaching around and grabbing canteens a couple cool things here is that it has these leather uh, tabs or leather like I'm not entirely sure up by where the band meets the lugs, and then it has this kind of cool canvas, which is actually uh, looks like a cordura or a nylon strap, and it's got a plastic loop at the end. Um, probably would have liked to have seen these metal, but you know, on a lot of backpack accessories and hiking accessories, the the the, the impact plastic they use there works just fine. And again, it's kind of nice because it's got this little uh, leather-like uh, tab on the end. Uh, presumably keep the thing from fraying, but also looks good. It says Forrester. I don't know what that means, but um, the face of this watch is very cool too. It's you know as you can see, uh, kind of a uh, the the closest color I can give you for that dial is like oh uh, coffee colored with heavy cream. So. A really kind of light brown, um, very much like cardboard brown, I would say. It's a little hard to see here because of the different type of lighting, but kind of cardboard brown, cardboard box brown, and, um, you know, pretty easy to read. Uh, the, the crown here, which should just pull out and adjust the time, will give it the obligatory 1010, and then I assume you move it all the way around. It doesn't seem to come out to another stop, so you'll probably move it all the way around the midnight position to to rotate the date window which is at the three o'clock but then it does have a light and um, there you can see the indiglo light back light goes on it's only on when you push it so you don't get a little bit of you don't get a, like a five second delay but those uh, the back lights for watches are very very useful and uh, especially when you're out in the uh, in the woods so this is definitely a watch that uh, I plan on holding on to. So when you do those day hikes, those camping trips, that type of thing, you, you're going to take this. Again, my only concern about these types of watches is so when you don't wear them, uh, you don't really think that about the power they're using and you really want to make sure that you're replacing the battery every couple of years because the last thing you want to do is grab a watch like this, head out on your hike or your weekender and find out the battery is dead or was basically dead. And the first time you hit that light, uh, it just pushes it over that threshold but kind of cool i like the little plastic lugs here which are uh totally decorative i'm sure especially considering they're all exactly angled in at the same same uh, direction but pretty cool little watch 
the strap is looks kind of like a NATO strap, but even more comfortable. Check it out. The Casio Men's FT500 WVB, and I don't know, maybe like it's, uh, I guess it's the, their Forrester model because that is branded all over this sucker. Panda out.